Still not the most comfortable part on them, but. See, just the difference of where the position I'm in and which eye is keeping me. If you remember correctly, in one of my other videos I was showing when I was this far back, he would tip his head to the other side and look at me out of the other eye. But that's not what you want. As long as I'm on this side of the center line, I want this, this eye. If I change the center line, so if I go here, I want the other eye to the other eye. Line. So now I'm getting a, a more well-balanced torque. Even though I, have, I still have this, but it's pretty tight there right now. And I don't want that. You've actually gotten to the point where you become so comfortable with me in this right eye, which is a big difficult thing for him. So if, if he ever does switch eyes when I'm on this side of the center line, I just step a little more over this way and try to get his mind back here. Whoops, that tight. Well, I don't release on a brace. I'm just going to relax and run on here. And I feel his tail relax a little bit more. It actually gets tighter just because I changed what I was doing. Rub, 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 rub. And he was getting, he wasn't getting more relaxed, but when I changed from rub, 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 rub to doing it like this, he actually got tighter here. Well, I'm not going to, I mean, he has the option to take off, but I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing here until I feel his tail relaxed. He pretty much got me to the point of clamping me in there. But just the fact that he can stay there is a, is a great thing. Now I just got to get to the point where he relaxes with this pressure. If he doesn't relax with this pressure, I just keep doing what I'm doing. See, every time I change, his tail actually gets tighter. And I can, I can switch sides here, keep the pressure there, and see what happens if I go from there to there, doing this. So I still have his tail here. I'm not pulling it any harder, I'm just supporting it. Just like if I was act, asking for softness in the rain. I'm not gonna release it. I, I, I mean, I'm not, hold, I'm just holding it up. I'm not, I don't have a grip on it. My hand is, uh, you know, I have some upwards pressure. But see, every time I go from this to this, it gets tighter. So I'm not gonna release that and I'm just gonna, Switch side and see how he does. And see if he switches eyes. See, he does switch eyes okay. He still hasn't relaxed here yet. But it's no big deal. Mentally, he's with me. Just physically, he still has some tension. So if I stop doing what I'm doing while he's tense, he'll never learn to relax. Now there's relaxation. So when I feel him relax, that's when I let it go. And I'll come in, pick it up again, just like picking up my reins, asking for softness. Right? Change here, so he's softer there. He didn't get tighter with me changing from going from scratching like this to just rubbing. Like just a little bit of a tension there. But if I go from scratching to rubbing, no change. Right, I'll change on it. I'll go, see he got tighter. Go from scratching to rubbing. And the other thing I'll pay attention to is which side does he get soft on? If he always gets soft on that side, I'm only gonna give him relief when he softens on this side. That's one thing you gotta understand, because when he's looking at me out of this eye, if you can't relax over here, that, see that's an unbalanced torque. You got that. So you actually got a little bit tighter. Right, but I'll switch back and forth. And I like asking for, you know, hind quarters this way, hind quarters. And see, he's already relaxed here. 
but I'm not. I'm going to go back to here. You know, I'm going to say, move your hind quarters, you know, like doing a leg heel this way or that way. I'll, I'll, if I'm doing it collected, it's got to be balanced on both sides. I mean, yeah, I can reward over there when I'm paying attention, but the pattern is going to see more relaxation on this side, so I'm getting more balance. So at least now he's not getting tighter when I change from here to here. I can go here, change hands. Oh, he got tighter. Just his head tipping over here a little bit. It's a good idea. Good thought that he's going to get soft. Whoops. <laughs> so you got to realize that every time you change a little thing like that, you're going to scratch and you're actually disconnecting and then touching it. side and reach his retail he gets tighter. Just a little thing to be aware of. That's loose. That's much loose. showed me today, I'm thinking he'll allow me to put the saddle on him this side easier than he would on the other side, because he's preferred me in this side, and that's okay. I want to be able to put it on from both sides. Yeah, I, don't, I don't get tight or get tense when he reacts. I don't react when he reacts. Just, this is the time when you're reassuring. It's not staying around the horse calm all the time that makes a horse calm. <clears throat> You've got to get him to the point where he actually understands that When I feel him, when I feel him react, react, then I don't react because he didn't do anything. This is when it, when you become reassuring for the horse, and oh, how soft that got right away. See, because his mind is more 
concerned about the saddle than it is about his tail right now. That's just little things that you, you learn to understand. And if not react, when he reacts, yes, it was his reaction, but it was, it's your calmness right now that's reassuring for him. Whereas just because you, if you stayed around a horse like this all the time, that doesn't make a calm, stable horse. Because they don't know how to deal with energy. See, I play with a lot of energy, and then when I get the horse really paying attention to me, I'm important that he always goes, I need to look to Bill to see what Bill's doing. That's when I become calm. So when he bunches up, thinks about scooting off. I just, because now when I go, it actually means something to him. Whereas you can be around the horse and always be calm around him. But if something happens, your calmness is not gonna reassure that horse whatsoever. He's gonna go. You can be calm all, all you want. Guess what, you're gonna be without a horse. No, that's why I, I just do all kinds of things like this. This guy, you got to keep his mind thinking. 